Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss how the change in temperature affects a system at equilibrium based on Le Chatrier's principle. In general, there are two types of chemical reactions known as exothermic and endothermic reaction. A reaction that releases heat in the forward direction is called exothermic reaction. This type of reaction has a negative delta H. Whereas a reaction that absorbs heat in the forward direction is called endothermic reaction. It has a positive delta H. For example, this reaction is an exothermic reaction because the delta H is negative. Therefore, heat is released in the forward direction. Now, consider this exothermic reaction. If there is a raise in temperature as the disturbance, by recalling Lichatria's principles, the system will remove the disturbance by decreasing the temperature. Thus, the equilibrium position will shift to the left. The concentration of PCL3 gas and Cl2 gas will increase, whereas the concentration of PCL5 gas decreases. Consequently, the equilibrium constant Kc will decrease. If the disturbance is dropped in temperature, the system will increase the temperature to reduce the disturbance. The equilibrium position will shift to the right. Thus, the concentration of PCL5 gas will increase whereas the concentration of PCL3 gas and Cl2 gas decreases. What happened to the equilibrium constant Kc? It will increase. Now, consider an endothermic reaction. If there is a raise in temperature as the disturbance, the system will remove the disturbance by decreasing the temperature. Thus, the equilibrium position will shift to the right. The concentration of PCL3 gas and Cl2 gas will increase, whereas the concentration of PCL5 gas decreases. Consequently, the equilibrium constant Kc will increase. If the disturbance is dropped in temperature, the system will increase the temperature to reduce the disturbance. The equilibrium position will shift to the left. Thus, 
the concentration of PCL5 gas will increase. Whereas the concentration of PCL3 and Cl2 gas decreases. In this case, the equilibrium constant Kc decreases. Thank you for watching this video. See you then.